Hi, I'm Trent Reedy, and I'm here to talk about my book, Words in the Dust. In 2004 and 2005, I was serving with the Iowa Army National Guard in western Afghanistan in support of the reconstruction mission. On a mission to assess a village for its reconstruction needs, we encountered a girl who had suffered from birth from a, a severe cleft lip, and we knew we had to help. So my fellow soldiers and I pooled our money together to fly her to our main air base, where this wonderful Army doctor had volunteered to conduct the needed corrected surgery. When she returned to us, I was absolutely amazed by how she had changed, and I wondered what effect that had on her life. For me, the girl kind of came to symbolize the struggle that uh, all Afghans face in trying to create for themselves a sustainable, meaningful society. And so the last time I saw this girl as she was leaving our base, I promised I would tell her story, and that led to Words in the Dust. One of the challenges in writing this book was that although I had spent a year uh, living in Afghanistan with, with a lot of contact with the people, the Afghans are very private. And so I had to do a lot of research when I returned to America. And so one of the challenges was trying to decide what to leave in and what to leave out. One amazing discovery I made was that uh, Afghanistan has this incredibly rich and beautiful literary history. They've got these wonderful ancient poems. And I knew that that was something that I wanted to include in this novel because I think that's a side of uh, Afghanistan that people don't get to see enough of. Another challenge that I encountered was that some of the scenes in the book are inspired by actual events that transpired during my tour. Um, one of those is uh, the burn scene in the book which comes from a, a mission when my soldiers and I were sent to uh, the hospital in Farah to see if we could help this girl who had been burned very badly. And um, it was, so it was very difficult to write that scene. I never got through it with dry eyes, but it was something I thought had to be included because that girl who was burned in Afghanistan deserves more than to be forgotten. I was very fortunate when I returned to America and that my transition from my wartime life to my civilian life uh, was relatively easy. I serve with a lot of good guys who I have learned are experiencing more difficulties in that transition. But Afghanistan was just something I, I couldn't get out of my head. I was, I was thinking about it all the time. Uh, in particular, I was wondering uh, about the girl we had helped and how her life had been affected by what we had been able uh, to do for her. And so I remember my promise to her and wanted to write this book. So I enrolled at the Vermont College of Fine Arts to seek help from some fantastic uh, writer advisors uh, to start to work on telling the story. I hope that readers of Words in the Dust will learn uh, from the book what I learned during my time in Afghanistan, and that is that Afghans are just people. They want the same things that, that people all over the world want, uh, a chance to be safe and to have a home and to live in peace with the people that they love. I also hope that people who are interested in helping Afghanistan reach that better future will consider donating to Women for Afghan Women, which is this fantastic organization uh, that is dedicated to uh, improving education and vocational opportunities for women and children all over Afghanistan. They do some amazing work, and uh, I'm, I'm really happy to support them. I'm really pleased with the interest in Words in the Dust, and I am thrilled that so many readers have responded so positively, not just to the book, but I think to the mission in, in helping Afghanistan get back to uh, something much, much better than it has been throughout the wars. It's, it, this is a, 
a campaign. This is a mission that has touched all of our lives. I don't think there's anyone who doesn't know someone who's closely affected by this. So it's been very gratifying to see such a strong interest uh, in helping Afghanistan and in wars in the dust.